the audio interface is, um, is extremely important for a variety of reasons. I mean, it's sort of, um, in, depending on how your studio is set up, it, it could be that it's, um, you know, that it's the biggest factor in affecting how your audio is going to sound. Um, other things being equal, meaning if you're, you know, uh, holding all other variables constant, like the DAW you're using and what affects plugins and so on. Um, I, I like RME cards because, uh, well, for, I would say maybe chiefly three reasons, um, maybe four reasons. Uh, the quality of their converters is very high. Um, and it's not just the audio specs, which anybody can read on, you know, they're, they're widely published, but, um, the, they have a, um, one, one factor in how an audio converter sounds is the, um, is the clock source and the, the digital jitter it's called jitter. And what that is, is the time base instability in the waveforms, um, and there are some companies that are known for very solid uh, clocks and others that, um, that aren't. Uh, RME is, is known to have a very, very rock solid clock. In fact, my entire studio is, is running off of my RME clock. Um, and that includes other sound cards from other manufacturers. I have a, a bunch of M-Audio um, sound cards that are, that are great, um, but I like to clock them off of my RME card. Likewise, even my, my Digidesign uh, uh, 192, um, which is a very good high-end piece of gear, I'm clocking it off the RME card. Um, the, uh, the, the, one of the other factors that I alluded to is, um, is stability. You know, um, the quality of the, of the drivers and how stable they are across a variety of of uh, different kinds of machines and platforms, um, you know, to some extent, it, it it may be kind of a moot point if you're if you're considering going with PC Audio Labs because they're going to vet all of that for you and and go through the different options. But um, for me, RME uh, has been has been good. I know Lynx makes some great stuff. Um, uh, you know, to be honest, um, I am perhaps somewhat agnostic on the issue. Uh, more so than with things like microphones and mic pre's, um, but uh, it, to my ears, the the army stuff is uh, it, it's actually it's it's a, you know I think that they're really well configured and well designed um, cards. Uh, they they seem to put a lot of thought into those audio specs that not that don't just look good on paper, but that are actually meaningful in terms of um, that which the human ear brain mechanism can actually sense. So, for example. Um, you know, there are some, uh, some companies that make products that have, you know, outstanding specs when you look at them on paper, but, um, you know, the difference between, say, 120 dB signal-to-noise ratio and 126 dB signal-to-noise ratio, it may not be something that you can actually hear, whereas the difference between a 2 nanosecond clock jitter and a half a nanosecond clock jitter is definitely something that you can hear, um, you know, so I, I think that RME they seem to put their emphasis on on those things which uh, research has demonstrated are meaningful to uh, to the listening experience.